It's that time what? of the month again. And today, I'm gonna be predicting season four of Fortnite Festival. And normally this would be a fun guess as to who would be the most likely to get in. But um, thanks to some dickhead, we uh we know who the next artist is. It's one billion percent gonna be Metallica. I mean the yellow background, fucking email sent out. It, it it's gonna be Metallica. And I mean like, since we know who it is, we we're not gonna make a a shitty mock up again, are we? Like I mean, there's no reason to make a there's there's there's, there's God fucking damn it. All right, let's run through this. So, number one, the skins. Um, it's gonna be all of them. It's gonna, there's gonna be four skins in it. It's basically already confirmed with the email sent out. So I just kind of put the logo because it's kind of just getting harder each season. Like, it, Miku was easy because it's fucking Miku. She's 2D already. And Uzi's just one guy and has a, a set pose. But how the fuck am I gonna get four people onto this without looking like a fucking 4chan fake leak. I mean, it kind of already looks like that, but you know, whatever. Um, but going on to the, the tiers, let's just run through the purple shit. Um, obviously there's the Epic Games originals. I just put I'm a cat for all of them because it's just going to be whatever, really. They, they always just put whatever in the festival pass and that's same with the stickers. I, I notice they just kind of shove whatever they fucking can onto the free track. Sometimes there's a themed instrument for the artist, and we have gotten leaks of a lightning guitar for the Metallica collab, but uh, I just put leaked instruments from Fortnite.gg. Um, the only things that really matter on this entire festival pass are the songs. Give me the songs. First song in the premium track is Lemonade by Internet Money featuring Gunna and Don Tolliver. We got banded by Don Tolliver, and honestly, I think this would be a really cool song. It's uh, pretty mainstream. It's a, It was pretty big on TikTok, and it would be a pretty good song uh, just to kind of kick off the pass with. Number two is Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. This would be a pretty funky song. This would be a pretty funky song in the past. Uh, and then the next song is another pretty funky song that I had in the last pass, but I just really want to see it. So I'm honestly just going to keep it in the passes until it gets in the fucking Harlem Shake. Uh, we need the Harlem Shake in the game. I don't know why the Harlem Shake is not in the game. Okay. But and anyway, we got the Metallica song and it's one by Metallica, because every festival pass needs one token song from their artist. But who knows, we're getting four skins, so we might get more Metallica songs. Who really knows? All right, so now that we're done talking about the festival pass, we can focus on the actual gameplay changes I'm hoping to see this season. Last season, we got pro lead and pro base, which I totally was not expecting, but they did it. So who knows, we could get pro drums or pro vocals this season, but I really wouldn't expect it. Um, but we are confirmed getting jam tracks as lobby music, as well as the battle mode that's been talked about for like four months now. And I say it like every video, but I really just want a new location. These stages have such small and little changes, and I just want a whole new look entirely. We've been looking at this fucking purple background for like four seasons now. Let us have something new, just like... Like I said, my ideal venue is just a dirty, grungy shithouse venue, like the fucking shelter in Detroit. But sadly, I, I don't think they're doing this anytime soon, as they seem set on just keeping this stage by making them a little different, like putting chains on Lady Gaga's stage, or making Billie Eilish's stage a little green or something, but... I don't know, and by the looks of the the entire layout of the leak, all of our future artists, none of these artists really fit the uh, grungy shithouse vibe I'm looking for. I also hope we soon get the ability to have a custom background track on Festival. I was really surprised they didn't try to sell the note colors to us for V-Bucks, but I mean, hey, I'll, 
I'll, I'll, I'll take them for free. But that's really all I can think to predict for the next season. Obviously, we know a Battle Royale concert's happening as well. So I think they're wanting to go all out with the Metallica season. So honestly, I wouldn't doubt they add uh, pro drums or pro vocals just to kind of promote that full band aspect of the season. But I don't know. We'll just have to see. We're only a week away from the season. So hopefully we get some cool additions. But uh, yeah, please change the fucking stage.